I don't know about y'all, but if I chill with you and I like you and I like the way you move, I like your vibe, baby, best believe you are mine now. You are my man. You're not going nowhere. I want to be around you 24-7. Who you talking to? Who's texting you? Who's calling us? Baby, you're mine. Where you going? Where you thought you was going? Who's calling us? My mom? What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Okay? Let me explain something to you guys really quick. Now, first of all, this chick is pretty hot, okay? Minus the fake eyelashes, she's a pretty hot broad. She has like a thick body, you know, kind of chunky, big tits, big ass, all that sort of thing. Now, let me tell you what would possibly happen if you were to date this girl. Uh, well, number one, I believe she is Puerto Rican. So the crazy level on the... Uh, Richter scale is already times five versus any other race of woman. She's going to be Puerto Rican. She's already crazy. She comes from a Puerto Rican family. They're probably crazy. Now, hey, listen, Puerto Ricans, back off. Put the knives down. I I'm, j I'm just being honest. I love you guys. Just, just calm down. You're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to deal with the possibility that her brother, if you mess with her, if you break her heart, if you hurt her feelings, her brother is going to come at you with a big... Puerto Rican butcher knives. I don't. Why do Puerto Ricans love knives so much? I don't understand. They love themselves some knives, especially driving it deep inside your ribs. You got to deal with the fact that she's probably one of those broads that she's probably not a big drinker, but you know, one drink to her is like ten to anybody else. She's gonna be a lightweight. She's gonna be going to a bar. She's gonna be picking fights with people, and you're gonna have to be cleaning up her mess. Okay, she's gonna be talking shit telling you oh yeah that guy's looking at me oh that guy did this to me and she's gonna test you she's gonna test you hey that guy he grabbed my ass and what guy grabbed her ass well of course the biggest motherfucker in the whole bar he used to be an mma fighter he used to be a boxer just got out of prison after doing 25 years rapist behind bars yeah that guy grabbed her ass so you're gonna have to deal with him you're gonna go outside and he's gonna annihilate you or she is so completely insane and possessive that while you're sleeping, she's going to pull out her gun and blow your brains out and chop up your body and throw it in a dumpster like that one guy down in uh, Baytown outside of Houston. Sex is phenomenal with her. Sex is fantastic. She's going to rock your world. She's going to fuck your brains out. But there's a trade-off. There's a catch. This broad is going to be getting in you into a lot of shit. She's probably going to end up murdering you. I think that's what's just going to happen. Girls like that, you don't start relationships with. As a matter of fact, I know a lot of you guys are looking at her you're like, oh, she's hot, blah, blah, blah. She's cute, blah, blah, blah. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. She's going to get you killed. Or she's so crazy that she's going to start like you know, hitting you, slapping you, and you're going to get into a fight, and you're going to get a domestic violence arrest on your record. You're going to go to jail. And then her Puerto Rican brothers are going to wait for you to get out of jail and then beat the shit out of you. There is no win. Uh, there is no winning in this situation. It's this lose-lose situation. Okay, yeah, sure, you get hot sex. Believe me. Believe me, you'll get that. But is it worth your life? The answer is yes.